Hello, people of God. It's Pastor Stephen at St. Paul's United Church of Christ in Amityville with vlog 236 for Thursday, the last day of June, June 30. And uh, I'm in Fellowship Hall. These six tables were in a square last Sunday as we had our coffee and conversation gathering. And I think there are about two dozen people, maybe closer to 30, that came and we enjoyed coffee and a lot of good snacks. But especially, we were about an hour and a half just talking about future of the church, especially having, we began by talking about worship services and what we'll do in the fall. And you should be hearing some things coming soon about what came out of that meeting. Because tonight, as I'm recording this, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night, worship committee is going to meet and they will look at what was said, they will look at what was shared in uh, some surveys that were sent out and they'll be making some decisions so we can move forward in the fall. And also, Tuesday night, the Christian Ed Committee met and the coffee and conversation, because it talked about worship, of course it related to Sunday School for Children, which has been happening during worship uh, in the social hall, and it requires a number of teachers, and uh, they've been recruiting some more teachers so that they can move forward with that, and you'll be hearing what the plans are very soon. I think there are gonna be two classes going on during worship that, um, that, that will be in the same room, but with two different age groups, because we have Quite a span of, of ages. Also, besides talking about worship and worship times and Sunday school, there was some talk of fellowship. People miss coming to Fellowship Hall for some snacks, and we we heard that, and we are looks like we're going to make some adjustments so that we can have more times of fellowship here on Sundays. And also, there was some passionate discussion, not only about Sunday school, but about youth and some opportunities for them and maybe uh, for um, some, some things, especially for youth. So some things are going to be coming out of that. It was a great conversation and those coffee and conversation meetings generated a lot of different uh, new ministries and new activities over the years. So I'm glad we had that one just this past Sunday. Uh, let's see, next week is 4th of July week. It's also uh, the Kutztown Folk Festival week that always straddles the 4th of July uh, with a, for a Saturday, Sunday before and a Saturday and Sunday afterwards. And our Splash Summer Group is going to be going up there Tuesday as their, uh, their field trip of the week. And I'm gonna be going up there uh, with my band, Crow Hill, we'll be performing at 12.30 and something like 4, around 4 or so. And I believe the Splash Kids are going to come up and, and they'll see us performing. Uh, my band has a few more engagements for the summer, and if you're interested in checking us out, um, we do have a, a Facebook page, or you can ask me about some things that are coming up. And I've seen church members at a number of different uh, events that we've had over the years. So thank you for coming out and seeing us. Let's see. Um, here's our scripture for today. A little bit of what we'll be reading this Sunday. I won't be preaching on this, but it does relate to what we just heard this past Sunday about Jesus and the disciples traveling through Samaria. And Jesus didn't make it really easy for people to follow him. And we're not sure how they uh, eventually reacted. Um, but as he continued moving toward Jerusalem, this is what we read in Luke 10, verses 1 and 2. After this, the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them two by two ahead of him into every town and place where he was about to go. He told them the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. And I'll be preaching this Sunday from a passage from the Old Testament. It has to do with a man with leprosy and, and a servant girl that had a key role in helping him to have healing from that leprosy. And I'll have a song about that too. And um, 
Our prayer today is for one of our youth group members, Dane, who was hit by a line drive at a baseball game and it required him to be hospitalized and kept overnight. And I know he's doing a little better now. He'll have to be checked um, over the next few days. So we're praying for Dane. We're also praying for the father of one of our um, confirmation class members uh, for Barry. And uh, would you join me in prayer? Lord God, for Barry and for Dane and for others in our congregation who are facing challenges in their health, we pray for your healing. We put our trust in you and we leave them in your hands for your healing. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, I want to remind you that we have uh, fans that you can pick up as you're coming in to worship. It's getting a little bit warmer, but we're doing all right with that. Oh, and I also should tell you that if you have donated things for the meal train or if you brought food for some church event or another, we have a few containers here. Some were from the meal train, things that were washed and then given back. Maybe you thought you were donating them, maybe not, but there's some nice things there. And uh, Michelle Ross has put them out on a little display so that you can pick them up. Our song for the day uh, has to do with humble servants. Make me a servant, humble and meek. Lord, let me lift up those who are weak. And may the prayer of my heart always be. Make me a servant, make me a servant. Make me a servant today. I should mention that my song of the week is a medley of two songs by George M. Cohen, uh, Yankee, Yankee Doodle Boy, written for a Broadway play in 1904. Later was made into a musical with James Cagney in 1942, Yankee Doodle Boy. And You're a Grand Old Flag from his play, George Washington Jr. in 1906. Two George Cohen tunes uh, for my medley. And if you are near the church around eight in the morning, 12 at noon, or six at night when the carillon plays, it is programmed to do patriotic tunes on July 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and I think 5th. So if you just happen to be here, you'll notice a little change from the typical hymns that we normally heard played by the carillon. And I always like this time of year and when I can hear those tunes. God bless you and uh, see you in worship and happy 4th of July. <laughs>